Hi everyone, Mr. Campbellhouse here. Today I'm going to show you that Google Fiber One Gig can actually deliver 20% faster speeds when used with multi-gig networking equipment. First, I'm going to show you the difference in speed, and then I'm going to show you the equipment that you can use to reach those speeds if you want to do so yourself. All right, we're going to go ahead and do a speed test now. So I'm using fiber.google.com slash speed test, and we're doing this with using a Cat6 Ethernet cable plugged into a gigabit port on my computer. So while the switch supports faster speeds, the computer itself is just using a standard one gigabit connection. So you can see we got 945 megabits per second down. The fastest I've ever seen on a gigabit connection is 950. And even though gigabit technically supports a thousand, you'll never actually see that because there is a little bit of overhead required. So yeah, so we're seeing about 945 down and about 946 up. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect from the gigabit port and move to a multi-gig connection and we'll rerun this speed test. All right, so I've gone ahead and moved the ethernet cable from a gigabit connector on my motherboard to a 10 gig card I've installed in my computer. Uh, I typically see around 1130 megabits per second down. We're seeing a little faster than that right now. The improvement in upload speed isn't quite as drastic. I usually see closer to 1000 to 1070. So let's see where we are, we're around 1040, 1050. But um, still, still pretty good. So it ends up being of a little over a 20% improvement in download speed and uh, closer to like a 10% improvement in upload speed. Now that we know that it's possible to get greater speeds out of Google's entry-level gigabit plan, let me list the equipment that you'll need. You'll need a multi-gig router. In my case, I have a Ubiquiti Dream Machine SE, and while it does have a 2.5 gigabit in port, it didn't have any multi-gig out port, so I wasn't actually able to just see that at my devices. Fortunately, I was able to purchase a multi-gigabit RJ45 SFP Plus adapter, that allowed my motherboard on my computer to interface with the multi-gig connection on my Ubiquiti Dream Machine SE. Lastly, you will need a device with a multi-gig network interface. Even now, these are uncommon, but fortunately, inexpensive adapters exist. Using this adapter, I've been able to connect everything from a 10-year-old MacBook to a brand new Asus ROG Ally to my multi-gig networking. In closing, while Google's entry-level fiber service is marketed as gigabit, there's actually a greater than 20% improvement to be had from using it in conjunction with multi-gig equipment. While upgrading your home network to multi-gig capable hardware does require a sizable investment, the result is greater speed at no additional monthly cost, in addition to a number of other benefits. This has been Mr. Campbell House. Thanks for watching.